Welcome to the Appliance Show, Jonathan Appliance Dude here at Curto's in Westchester County. When you are buying in the high end, you are making an investment. Some of you are walking away dropping 20, 30, even more, $40,000 on your appliances alone, aside from the other pieces of your kitchen. It is an investment. You need to know what you're doing, okay? And many of you are heavily considering going into the Wolf Sub Zero uh, down that road. And, um, and it's a fine road to travel down, mind you. But, um, you know, I want to take this time to basically talk about why they are where they are and why I think it is a very good investment going with these products. In the Japanese martial arts, there is a term uh, called Renma, okay? Uh, Renma means basically the translation would be that you are constantly polishing yourself. Uh, as applied to martial arts, you're supposed to constantly work on your fundamentals and build slowly, drip by drip, and every day have a 1% incremental improvement on a daily basis until you get to a point of mastery, which actually the whole Zen conundrum of this is that you never do achieve mastery, but that's a whole other story. Um, Renma. Uh, con continue, you know, constant polishing. And there's another Japanese term which I'm going to invoke right now called, uh, and actually those of you who probably got MBAs or what have you probably be familiar with, it's called Kaizen. Kaizen means, can, um, it translates to basically continuous improvement. And um, Kaizen was a term that was, uh, uh, you know, got bandied about a lot when uh, in the, 19, like the, the 1980s when the Japanese auto manufacturers were completely kicking the tails of the American manufacturers. And, and, and Kaizen, again, it was this laser-like discipline, which really was called from the Japanese uh, in, in their culture, from the martial arts, um, to constant improvement on a daily basis. Every single day must be at least a 1% incremental improvement over the next day. Slow, steady, drip by drip progress. So the reason why I am going off on a tangent about Japanese uh, martial arts and business practices is because it is very, very clear to me that Wolf and Sub-Zero, now I'm not saying they had adherence to these Japanese principles by rote. However, they are practicing them because here's the deal. Sub-Zero has always been the leader in built-in refrigeration, and Wolf, they basically pulled them up by their, um, um, by their pants when they bought them a decade or however, you know, 12, 15 years ago, however long it was. And then they basically, Wolf became the de facto brand for high-end cooking. Now, they are, and they also took advantage, let's face it, with the implosion of the economy, the, uh, um, they, they, they took advantage of the collapse of some other companies out there who were not focused on customers and were not focused on product. They were more focused on being lifestyle companies, and that didn't work. So now that you are the king of the hill, what do you do? Do you sit back? Do you get fat? Do you start getting like the Romans and just, uh, you know, let, you know, waste away, uh, let atrophy take place? No. I actually, and the reason I'm bringing this up is I had a meeting, a dealer meeting about a month ago in New York City with the folks from uh, who distribute Wolf and Sub-Zero locally around here. What I found to be amazing is they took about a half an hour in their presentation to just talk about the new products that are going to be coming out in the next few years. It's simply astounding. This company, uh, to even think of them resting on their laurels as the leader of the category, they're actually, I would actually make the argument, they're actually becoming more aggressive. They are chasing innovation, they are chasing the whole ideal of product newness, of um, bleeding edge technology, introducing it, new new designs. They're going to have, like for instance, their wall ovens, they're going to be, there's going to be a dramatic change to their wall ovens coming up uh, relatively in the near future. They're going to have a model that actually looks more like a European model, more streamlined, metro looking, whatever, uh, so, uh, apart from the normal thicker handle, you know, pro American look. Um, I mean, their ranges, their gas ranges, as you probably know, are changing imminently. They're going to roll that out into, I mean, basically the whole product line is going to be changing, and then they're going to hit the big refrigerators uh, shortly thereafter. So this is a company that could very easily sit, because it really the competition is really isn't there from the right now. I mean, I do think Thermador is definitely trying to muster up some game and go after them. You know, Monogram is always kind of lurking there as well. But I mean, let's face it, Southern Wolf are the leaders right now, and they are not resting. They continue to push and improve, continue continuous improvement on a daily basis. It's incredible. That's it, folks. Thank you for your time. Hit me up with any questions. Peace out.